hey, there's a report about a geomagnetic magnetic storm that is approaching Earth tonight, tonight, and it is predicted to do a lot of damage. And I'm looking at the nighttime sky as the sun is going down. It's very cold out right now. But I just want you to see the sun sunset. It's nothing it's nothing strange or anything. It's just I'm looking to see if there's anything odd, but there's nothing odd really about it from my vantage point. That's the sunset if you can see it. So the reason I came outside is I thought it'd be worth noting that these reports are coming out and a lot of people have been talking about it on the internet about the geomagnetic, I'm saying that wrong, geomagnetic storms and it's supposed to do a lot of damage. Now I have a link in the description box so that you can view it for yourself. Um, it's a warning about what's going to happen now. There is a report. Uh, it's so cold. I'm going inside. Excuse me. There's a glare on my glasses, too. So you might not be able to see me much. Let me get inside. Hold on a second. Uh, that's much better. <laughs> There's still glare, but... Um, what I was saying is, okay, back to my office. <laughs> um, there, what was I saying? I, uh, this report was about Noah putting out a warning and the warning was that there would be an increase of earthquakes increased tsunamis, uh, possible flooding, uh, the energy that comes from these X-class are called cannibal solar flares, if I'm correct. In the link, it'll describe it and explain it, but it's quite frightening what we're embracing for now. Here's the interesting point. This all happened as we, uh, I'm trying to say this as gently as possible, as our relationship with Israel is now completely severed. And that's because of the transfer of weapons to Israel. And that's not an accident. There are no accidents in God's world. So we pray for Israel and we pray for intercession and we pray that we pray about the anti-Semitic things that are going on in these protests and all the things that are going on. Um, everything that's coming against Israel right now is terrifying and it's just strange, but oddly enough, it's true. You come against God's apple of his eye, things happen. And God acts swiftly when it comes to Israel. So when you see that link, you'll put two and two together. And I think you'll know what I'm talking about when I say these are some very interesting days we live in. And I hope that this is, I just hope Jesus comes back. I would love that more than anything. I always say in these videos, if only Jesus came back yesterday, but that's far fetch. It's asking maybe more than I should be asking for right now, but I just hope he comes back quickly. Like you said, 